I got one camera. We'll take it. Oh, I guess you do get one camera. There's my belly. Whee! Eesh. Also, check out the swag. I get to go to Boston Public. They have t-shirts. I am super jealous. I want t-shirts for everyone. And I apologize. But we figured it out. So you won't get any fun and fancy tricks today, just paper circuits. And we'll give it a few more minutes to see if anybody else joins. Just so you know, Chris, I'm using all the materials I bought from that homeschooling grant. Ooh. I know what they are now. You look like you're in a bit of a layer. Um, this is so because the library is still shut down and because of the building they put us in, um, we don't actually have enough space for everybody. So most of us in live dev like are actually home until we get a new space. So, so you're in more layer. I am in my lair. Actually, this is my workshop. So like that little plastic everything is my brand new lathe. Oh. This is the, the little snowboard, the snowman that I just made. Cute. Oh, that's so cool. I was, very, I was very excited. Just little stuff for now. We've made a couple pins. That's about all. But yeah. Oh no, I hope everybody comes back. Oh well, they'll get the recording. Either or. I can't get my name to change to my name. I don't know what the deal is. Usually I can do that, but. There's Josie. You can try clicking on participants on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. And then a list of participants come up and you might be able to hover over your name and there might be a rename option. Mine isn't showing up, but that's what I've done in the past. I don't know which camera I'm looking at because it's all weird now. That's all right. We got two working and it'll, it'll, it'll work. Also, uh, so this came in today. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, perfect. Uh, so if anybody's interested, I can, I can put all this information in. It is available. Uh, it's phenomenal. Uh, I learned two things I didn't know about anglerfish, and I went into a pretty deep dive on these guys. <laughs> um, yeah, the book is super informative. The illustrations are awesome. You got cool facts in there for almost anybody. Like, anglerfish are just cool. There you go, Kathy. I'll give it two more minutes, and then I'll uh, start. Make sure I keep you know, participants. Alice, uh, I saw your question in the chat and no, because it corrupted, but I'm redoing it tomorrow and we're going to put it on YouTube so everybody can see it. Hope that answers your question. All right. I think we've kind of slowed down. I'm a little bummed because I feel like we had a whole bunch of people and they were just like, Chris doesn't know what she's doing. And for, the most, part, for the most part, I went it, so I'm okay with it. So um, oh, Chris, there, here comes Kathy. Chris, what time are you doing it tomorrow? At tomorrow for Science Online? Yeah. It, it's always at 3.30. Oh, how often do you do this? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday at 3.30? Uh, yeah. It's live on the Facebook, Maine State Library Facebook. Oh, can, and we can then zoom in and see it later? 
Uh, it isn't even on Zoom. It's actually on Facebook. So you just go on Facebook and scroll down and I'll be right there. Oh, and if and if we don't make it at 3.30, can we watch it at another time? Always. They're actually the, if um, there is a search function on the uh, May State Library Facebook page. And if you do science online, um, you can actually see most of them because I try and take them all. I didn't know about that. Thank you yes. very much. It's a new feature. All right. Thanks. All right. We're going to go. We're just going to start because this is what we have now. All right. So, hi. That was a fun and rocky beginning. Most of you all know me, so I don't have to reintroduce myself. Um, so, uh, even if you're not doing Oceans of Possibilities, you can still do paper circuits. Um, they're very um, uh, low floor, easy to get into, and you don't need to have any super specialized equipment. Um, you can use tinfoil. Uh, you can use like flashlight, the LED flashlight lights. Those are fine. Uh, you can go on Amazon and you can buy packs. Like Leslie, can you hold up your pack of LED lights? Thank you. You can get little boxes if you see it's Leslie's video. Hila, you know. It's oh, Hila. sorry. I can't I, get it to change. I automatically look Sheila at names. Like I forget yeah. people. Yeah. yeah but you right. can get cases like that. Yeah. From Amazon for super cheap. Um, and a coin cell battery, which you can get at the, the dollar and a quarter store. <laughs> I'm still angry about it and no one can tell me otherwise. Um, so I am going to switch cameras. I know the other one works. I tried it. Ta -da! Oh, it's a little dark. Sorry. Can everybody still see? Mm -hmm. I swear my hands are clean, but I did, I did, you know, clean the stove just now. So it's just good. I swear. Um, so what you're going to want to do is now, is anybody here familiar with circuits? Kind of, sort of. Yeah. So what you want to remember is a circuit is a circle. And if you break that circle, you break the circuit. So what I tell all of the students to do first thing is we're going to just make a circle. Okay. Try to get the. I should use the marker. Hold on. Sharpie. Ooh. So make a circle, right? This is our circle. It's our circuit. It's connected. It's fine. Now, in order to have a circuit, we have to have something that powers it. So this is my battery. And then we have to have something that uses that power. So beep, beep. That's my LED. And anytime you break that circuit, the electricity that is flowing around stops. It's like hitting a wall. So that's why you get broken circuits. So you have to remember that the circle is just allowing electrons to flow in a continuous circle from the battery to the battery and through your light bulb. So, and, and don't worry if, if anybody has any questions, there are just a few of us, so feel free to to unmute yourself and ask questions. I'll continue to call Sheila Leslie because I just look at her name tag. Oops. Um, now, when I said LEDs, so these are an LED. This is called a gumdrop LED because believe it or not, you can see it by the size of my thumb. This is a technically a 10 millimeter. Um, so they're really big, like um, here. Can you see the difference? So this one would be a five millimeter and this is a 10, so it's double the size. Gumdrops are great for um, littles. You can also make uh, paper circuit flashlights, or uh, if you want to, you can even use the same skills we're using today. And instead of doing it on paper, do it on a popsicle stick and you can give them flashlights. They can make their own working flashlight. Uh, if you haven't heard about our new STEM circulating kits from the Maine State Library. Uh, in, in the new circuit kit, uh, we have a make your own flashlights. Did, um, didn't you have a lightsaber card that you gave me once? Oh yeah, you can even make lightsaber cards. These, are, yeah. these will light up straws. So you can make yeah, lightsaber I think cards. We, for, I think you gave me that, we did that. For May the 4th. Um, yes, there are different course. kinds. So this is a clear LED, which is fine. 
these are um, colored. So this may actually not be a white. It may be colored. You just can't see it because it's not, you know, colored on the outside. Um, I like these better because when you get a lot of these clear ones, students will be like, I want a purple. And then they get an orange and they're very upset. So just, if you can just buy the colored ones. Um, if you are doing something like a paper circuit card, uh, the five millimeter, the other ones are a little easier to work with. Uh, if you're doing something that needs a little more light, the 10 millimeters um, are a little better because they're a little brighter. But just like anything, the brighter you get, the more battery you're gonna get. And these guys are just little three volt. So um, when you do do paper circuits, this is the only warning that the whole thing has. These are batteries. It's just a, a coin cell battery. These are my favorites, the 2032s. Um, you can buy them in packs of like 100 on Amazon. And I know Amazon is an evil corporation, but there you go. When you live in the middle of nowhere, Maine, unfortunately, 100 coin cell batteries are hard to come by. Um, uh, just be careful because again, if you're, I wouldn't recommend any of this for the little littles because they might swallow the batteries and we all know what happens to that. Um, so. I don't, I got so excited. I threw my actual like angler fish card. So I don't even know where that is and I apologize. Um, so if we wanna make our own paper circuit, does everybody have stuff to make one today? So uh, one question, you had sure. said we could steal the battery and the LED from a little tea light. Yes. Um, how, maybe I'm just very brain dead today, but how do you get the LED out of the tea light? Yeah, Is it supposed dead. to just like pop right out the top? No, you kind of got up. You actually have to like break the- You'd have the to break it, okay. Yeah. Which That's what I started fun. doing, but I didn't want to break, break it, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's also fun with the kids. It's like making um, um, little vibro racers with kids mm -hmm. and they get to do it with electric toothbrushes. They can break the toothbrush and they think it's the best thing ever. All right, um, so just to start out, I'm gonna make a basic circuit. So I wanna start with my power. Oh, right, I can't use uh, that because you don't see it. So I'm gonna start out circle as a battery and then say, I want my LED up here. So this is my LED. Whoop. Kind of looks like a little creature, okay? So you wanna make sure you make a circuit that goes from here to here. And they won't make the same here. Now this is why I always have them do it in pencil first so they can actually visualize and see where the circuit is. And this is where their minds really get blown because they don't, they just think that this is a plus sign. Oh, that's more of an X for you guys, sorry. And this is a, a subtraction fine. So I make them follow so that this is the positive. And then I make them follow to make sure that this is the negative because electricity, because it's a circle can only flow in one direction. And then this is the fun part. Now, this is where we get to use copper tape or whatever you happen to have. Um, I usually have all of this stuff um, pre-cut. So like if, um, that thing I saw you were doing aluminum foil. Uh, so the best part is that you can just cut little slices, little strips, uh, and it also sharpens your scissors. So find like the worst pair of scissors you have. Um, and then just, you can glue it down on the side. Um, this stuff is actually relatively cheap now. Um, it was hard to find when there was a little bit of a copper shortage. Um, this is just sticky sided copper tape. Um, if you don't have this, uh, but you still don't want to use a glue stick, there's something called um, flashing tape. And basically it's just this, but with aluminum on it, they use it in all the hardware stores. Um, sometimes it comes in big two inch rolls. I just cut it and make little strips like this. Actually, they're usually thicker because I'm not that good. 
So uh, I usually have all of this stuff pre-cut for the students. Uh, and all you wanna do is follow the line. Now, don't look if you get seasick because I'm gonna move the camera. Whoop, maybe not. All right, I'm not gonna move the camera, I lied. Um, when you do a curve or a corner, 90s are the easiest, but there's a trick to it. And this is why doing it with little fingers is hard, both because you have to manipulate this and because, well, I struggle with it. So probably other people are gonna, I, I don't know. Uh, but you have to make a weird fold. So when you, and again, do you notice that none of this is stuck down yet because I make the students try this without sticking it down first because it's that weird to fold. So I always remember that if I wanna go this way, I have to turn, sorry, my arm's in the way. I have to turn my tape that way. So I go the opposite way and then I put my finger here and then I just fold it over. This is a horrible piece of tape. It's already coming apart. So do you guys think that? This is the same for if you're using aluminum foil? Yep. It's same, okay. I mean, if you want to get fancy, you don't have to be fancy. In fact, you can draw a circuit if you want, like especially if you have a lot of younger kids, you can even just do a circuit. Like this, so that way they don't have to make any, whoops, here's the battery. They don't have to make any corners. Uh, that's why I like the popsicle sticks because you just go up one side of the popsicle stick and then you go up the other side of the popsicle stick. Uh, so once you've tried to do that and you feel like, yeah, I've got that down, then I have them carefully follow their line. Now I have to think, do I want to go that way? Do I want to go down? So I go up. And if they don't follow the line perfectly, like life will not end, it will be fine. Um, if they have a few wrinkles, also fine. But the less wrinkles for this copper tape, the easier the electrons will follow through. So I always tell them, and this also, like if you have some of those overachieving kids who like really, really, really do stuff fast, just tell them, no, it's gonna be smoother. You gotta take your finger, make it smoother, as smooth as you, and they just can kill a little time. Uh, and then you do the exact, same, well, not the exact, almost the exact same thing with the other one. But for this one, you're gonna make a tail. And if I'm going too fast, I can pause. So if somebody just yell at me, cause I get excited. So I have it down and again, I'm not sticking it down yet. I'm gonna practice my corner. I go away from me and then I come down. This one has two corners. I wasn't thinking, go away from me. Boop, boop. Then go down. At the very end of this one, we're gonna make what is called a tail. We're basically gonna make a battery switch because when we put our battery on here, oh, fresh battery, ding. When we put our battery down, this will connect with the bottom side. And then we wanna make a little flap to touch this one. Now, if you don't wanna do that and you have some extra uh, binder clips, you can actually just fold over the top. So instead of having it come down here, uh, I have another color, hold on. Instead of having this come here, you can have this come down here. So that way, when you touch, you complete the circuit. So right now, the circuit's broken. And then when I fold this up, this completes the circuit. So you go all the way around. Does that make sense? Chris, can you redo that, that first time that you did the special fold? I went to take off the backing of the copper tape and I don't understand how to get it back. <laughs> 
that's fine. So first thing you do is like, so I want to go in my neck, want to go down. So I always fold away. Away. Okay. Away. And then hold it down. So that way it's, it's called a special fold only because you want to make sure that the copper is always touching copper. Okay. All right. Thank you. That makes sense. Yep. Because um, especially now, most copper tape, because paper circuits are so popular, most copper tape comes with adhesive backing, but there are some copper tapes that don't have adhesive backing, uh, which makes it really hard. Uh, also with littles, uh, and again, you want to tell them that this is super fragile. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on this to just have it rip. And if it does rip, that's okay. It happens. So for instance, here, I'll rip this off. Oh no, it ripped. Miss Chris, what do I do? Well, we fix it, it's fine. So this, this is what happens also when your copper tape falls off the roll. It, it, it creates a squirrel's nest. So uh, just, just FYI, this is, this is gonna happen and there's nothing you can do about it. So broken, not a problem. Make a little tail. Cause remember, we always want the copper to touch. So all I'm gonna do, is just take a little piece of copper and I'm just gonna stick it to myself. Just like all good tape when I wrap presents wants to do. So now I have two sides of shiny copper and no adhesive, right? And you just make sure that the copper's taken, touching copper. And then I'll go all the way over here and smooth it down with my fingertip. So this is gonna float around just to put a little piece of transparent tape on it. I think that's one of the few kinds of tape that I don't have down here. But I do have the ever present painter's tape. Yay! And just squish it down. Uh, this is probably the hardest part of doing paper circuits is the copper tape. It's it's fragile, it breaks, um, especially with littles. Uh, they can get frustrated a lot. Just tell them to keep going. Like we, it comes like a hundred feet to a roll. You have extras. If something happens, just give them a new piece. Um, so then you get to talk about polarity and how electricity flows only in one direction. Now I'm using um, I'm using tin foil, and on my right hand side, about uh, after about an inch, the tin foil that that was as big as I cut the piece. Can I just overlap overlap the tin foil on top of it and keep going? Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And with with aluminum foil, like the the thing with aluminum foil is you want to make it as wrinkle free as possible. Um, but the fun part about aluminum foil is as long as you don't put a whole bunch of glue on the back, you can just stack aluminum foil and it'll hold, a, it'll, it'll pull electrons. But like anything, if you stack up too high, it won't work. Kind of like if you, you know, plug too many things into a socket and all of a sudden they stop working, same idea. So is everybody with me so far? Okay. Now, talking about polarity, uh, electricity flows in one direction. Now, I always thought it was positive to negative, but I've recently learned that apparently it's negative to positive. Uh, my mind is blown and I honestly still don't think it's right, but I think that, that, I read it on wrong. HIT. I'm sorry. I, right? I know, but it was like on a college course. So I'm still, I have to do more research. It happened like two days ago and I'm still, I'm not sure how I feel about it. So either way, I just say that it, it flows in a circle and it all has to, there's polarity. So there's negatives and there's positives. The best part about LEDs is not only are they super cheap, but if you look, I don't know how I'm gonna get this to focus. Focus. The legs on an LED, there we go. One is taller than the other. And the way I think of it is that negatives cut off this and positives have the little leg. So the longer leg 
is positive. And I usually just have them mark that with something. So like, this is my positive leg. I'm just gonna mark it so I know. This is my positive leg. And then I have them look at the battery. That's a shiny battery. Come on, shiny battery. And you can see in the really bad shiny battery that there is a plus sign on the top. That's also for the positive. So that means I wanna make sure that this leg matches up with this line of copper. Does that make sense? So for instance, if I touch this to this, that's positive. So positive, 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 positive. And with this backwards, just ignore it. Mm, eh, there we go. I fixed it. Kids, kids will think that they have to like redo their whole thing. They can either just do this or you can just flip over your battery. That's fine too. Okay, so I got positive to positive. Uh, and this is where kids really get excited because they get to take the legs and just bend them, bend them down, bend them down. Make the LED do a split. Now, these LEDs are three cents a piece. You can buy them in packs of 100. The legs are going to fall off. They're just like, I, I can literally just sit here like a pipe cleaner and bend them off. If they fall off, it's fine. Uh, some kids get excited and they'll like stack two or three batteries on one LED. Well, the LED is going to blow just like a light bulb. Much less dramatic. It just kind of goes and then you smell a little ozone, like if you get that loud of a poof. So it's it's very, very easy, it's very, very safe. Uh, and then you just wanna make sure that the legs are touching on the appropriate side. So again, positive, 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 positive. This is gonna to touch my positive, negative, 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 negative. This is my negative, so we're good. Chris, Chris can I jump in for just a second? How about? All right, this is Sheila, not Leslie. Um, <laughs> So when I put my capper tape down, mm -hmm. I had drawn it like you had first drawn it. But mm -hmm. now that when you fix to your corner, you have your copper tape lower. Is that going to mess up my circuit because it's too close to the battery? No, I will show you how to make a switch. Oh, see, that's how I. Yeah. So uh, that, you want to take, okay. so see how it goes under both batteries? So if you go under for yours, so if you look at yours, see yeah. how it goes under, that means you're okay, going good. negative to negative. So all you have to do is just cut a little bit of this one off. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. So it shouldn't be in the circle, the bottom one. Yeah, don't make that in the circle. All right. Because this is where you get to tell kids that electricity is really, really lazy. And that if it can find a way to easily go around the circle without lighting up your LED, it will. Because... Oh electricity is like most people i don't want to do extra work like come on now uh, so once you have your positive and negative and it matches your positive and negative just take a little piece of tape uh some tape is conductive so if all of a sudden you have a bunch of kids and nothing works if their tape somehow accidentally like if they put really big pieces of tape and that tape is touching if that tape is conductive, again, electricity is lazy. It's easier just to go through the tape than to do all that work to light up that LED. So you can create a short circuit. Uh, transparent tape is awesome. It works, yep, it works really, really well. It does not like electricity. It is a great insulator. Hey, it works, just making sure. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what if it doesn't work? Then we can troubleshoot. And then if everything is together and you've got everything connected, you should be able to just complete that circuit and your LED come up. Does that make sense? How did is we do that, with the, the tin is foil? That, is that happening because the, the longer, the tin foil down on the bottom left is, is folding up on, on top of it when you're putting when you're folding the paper up so what happens is right now do you see right here that's a oh, break uh, in my circuit that means that the electricity can go here but it can't continue around the circuit so i have an open circuit it won't work 
But when I take this little piece of paper or this little piece of copper and I touch it to my battery, now I have a full circuit and all of the electrons, oops, I hope nobody has, I can't hold it up like that. My battery moved. I can't get myself off the screen and your picture is very small the way I have it. Um, so I, I can you hear go you, up but I to can't see. I'm, I bet you I have you under speaker view, but um, oh, sorry. But I just, but you're just a little small person up there in the gallery with your name um, blocking the bottom of your circuit that you're trying to show me. <laughs> I'm gonna spotlight my screen. Is oh, there better? we go. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Okay, okay. I, I forget I can do that. So the best part is, is I think. Oh, there we go. So what's happening is I'm closing that circuit. It's just like when you okay. hit a light switch. This is my light switch. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yep. Okay. I'm just closing the light switch. Perfect, and, thank you, thank you. And I don't know if anybody noticed, but I freaked out a little bit because I started to do it and it wasn't coming on. Uh, sometimes the LEDs will just pop off the copper tape. Just have the students, again, just smooth it out. Make it smooth as possible because everything has to be in contact because the electricity runs through the copper or the aluminum foil or the flashing tape. Okay, got it. Does that make sense? Perfect. And that's a basic paper circuit. And I actually have, um, Again, I had this all made out and I had a wonderful PowerPoint. I was gonna show all of you, um, but I have an actual card that we made that has all of this on it uh, and you can fold it up and it actually makes an angler fish with this, this little lure glows. And I was so proud of it. <laughs> oh, well, I'll send it out to everybody in an email with yeah. the recording. Um, that way everybody can, can uh, Feel free to, to use it. It's actually in the CSLP. That's mine. The angler fish light card. That's me. Car and I put that up. Oh, Chris, this is on the Facebook page then? This one? No, when you record it, when you record this, where does it go? Uh, this one I'm going to send out to everybody who signed up for it. Um, and we're also, we've just um, developed um, a library development YouTube page place oh. spot um so we're slowly putting stuff up there so this will probably go up there as well okay because did, did you do another one of these things that you reported or is this the first one of these uh this is my second one i did an inflatables but right. the inflatable one completely like corrupted on my state laptop so i'm gonna do oh. it this afternoon so that everybody can see and remake it and upload it so that you guys can see this I amazing have... this amazing creation oh, like oh i oh i would love oh that's fun could cool. i get that too even though i didn't sign up for it before um once you i too. get it done i'm gonna send it out to all the the youth services people oh great okay. it's Perfect. that one so could... the starfish i would definitely use for teens or up but um, this is Barry. Again, I'm a bad children's librarian. I don't have googly eyes. I, I keep saying this. You've gotta I mean, have googly I eyes. I know. I, I can I've said send it you googly eyes. <laughs> I just keep forgetting. Like I go into the dollar store, I panic, I buy everything that I don't need, but I forget the googly eyes. Exactly. But uh, he's my sea cucumber. <laughs> he does he does sit-ups. You can put like little like Piper pipe cleaner or a Chanel stem arms on them. Uh, they're fantastic. And and all it is is you just create like the cucumber shape. You cut out this like triangle and then you just put a straw to it. Like they're they're phenomenal. I like the starfish. The starfish uh, teen and above because it's there is the taping of that one is, is a little difficult. Um, I did do one where I made a full jellyfish do not recommend with <laughs> students. Um, it actually is through, um, so all of these were actually developed through Plix Media from MIT. 
Oh, um, so it's plix.media.mit.edu, I believe. And again, I can send this all out in an email. Um, but um, this was a remix because they were actually making it with the inside of chip bags, but you had to use heat to seal it. And I was like, eh. And then I found out that tape and paper work just as well. So these are paper inflatables. Um, but yeah, it's phenomenal. It's a lot of fun. And also like, Sea cucumber that does like crunches. Like, how do you not love this? <laughs> but anyway, does anybody have um, questions about the paper circuit? Anything that you think would, would cause a problem? No, no as I said, now that now that I'm watching it, I realize you already taught me this with the lightsabers, which was cool. So I'm good. Uh, the lightsaber ones are awesome. Uh, May the fourth is coming up. Uh, yes, I, and I had little red and green ones and blue ones, I think, even. Currently working on fixing my oh, thighs yes. because I might have gained a little weight over quarantine, so like I oh. have to expand my thighs <laughs> because I'm so full. Like how? I know yeah. you forget yeah. that quarantine fifteen, double it. <laughs> Pretty much. Is there is there any warnings about? I thought there was something about when you have like for storage sake for parents. Is there any concerns that we have about storing because this is a battery? Um, you always want to keep it away from the littles. You want to keep it away from pets because they are corn cell batteries. They are like, that's the danger. Um, also never store open coin cell batteries together because if the coin cell batteries touch, they can okay. actually, well, not like, not like a little touch, but like if they short, there is the potential to start a fire. So like, I've seen a lot of libraries, um, uh, I don't know where I put my things. So you know how they come in these nice little cases? right yeah in these cases i've seen libraries just open them all up and put them in a big bowl please don't do that okay that's what i was wondering <laughs> yeah okay I've, I've i've heard of but i've never seen so it's one of those things where i have not so far right. got anything uh, one one fire. plastic bag to another plastic bag wouldn't be good then it has to be I put them in, we put them in little Ziplocs. So we'll put separate, um, separate one for one battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just one battery per. Okay. So if, if I'm making a tape, cake, take home. If I am making uh, a take home or a take and make for these, which is totally doable, you put in um, a couple copies of the card. Uh, and again, if you're not doing Oceans of Possibilities, if you just look up uh, paper circuits cards, there are a whole bunch of cards with templates. I actually have a bunch I'll, I'll put in the email too. I'll put it in the Google folder. Um, but I usually do um, two like eight ish inch approximately things of copper tape, maybe an extra just in case if it's a take home, um, a battery, LED, and then the printouts and that's all you need. I mean, if you just leave the battery in their packaging, they're safe. Yep, yeah, that's, that's all they need. I but, was just thinking I've, though, if I do this as a, as a programmer to team peer. So mm -hmm. like today I did this, but now I have a battery. I don't want to throw it away. But uh, yeah. if I'm going to store it in my stone kit, um, I, you know, so safety wise. Get a couple pieces of masking tape or painter's tape. Like it's, it's basically, you just have to disrupt the flow of electricity so that they don't get hot. So you can either put them back in the case and put like a piece of tape over it, tape it in. Um, I have, like a stack of them and because I'm super paranoid because now I work from home <laughs> like if yeah if the, if the library if like the library like Maine State Library burned down I'd be really upset because the museum is there but like most of the stuff is in super contained and like one of a kind stuff is all digitized so like having a new office would be kind of cool with like having a library with windows would be really cool if you've ever been to the state library. Um, but no, I just, I, I wanna be extra cautious because there there is a fire hazard and there's also a, a choking and or like swallowing hazard, which is so scary. So no, this shouldn't be done with littles. Um, I have done it with my five-year-old niece, but you know, fear of God that I put into that child and she knows better than to chew batteries. Uh, her sister, who is eight, might chew on batteries. 
it's a weird dynamic. Uh, they both have parts of us. It's very weird to watch them develop. Being an auntie is weird. Um, but we did the um, flashlight with both of them and they did fine. And I think she would be, she would be fine with this too. I was just trying out the flashlights. She's a pretty smart cookie though, because her aunties had her in STEM stuff since she was like in diapers. So if you're gonna do it with a big group, I would say if you have some like diehard first graders, go for it. But I would say second grade and up probably. But the flashlight's easier. Anybody have any other questions? Do you have a um, a sample of that fish? The I think it's the angel fish that lights up. Do you happen to have a sample of that around where you are? I well, I don't. That's the problem because I had it on a PowerPoint. It was all pretty, and then everything decided to not work. <laughs> but oh. I'll send it out when I send out the recording and all the information. I'll make sure everything's attached. Okay. Do you, it, it do looks, you have it, can you share like screen this. your PowerPoint? No, because I shut everything down. Oh. I'd be able to find it. Hold on. I mean, I don't want to screw things up, Chris. By the way, no. I like your glasses. Thank you. Um, let's see. Only because oh, I share yeah. screen PowerPoints all the time. But it's the only thing I know how to do with Zoom. <laughs> I haven't dared do a breakout room yet. Breakout rooms are amazing used well they're phenomenal used for uh for evil though they can be abused <laughs> you think i'm joking i'm serious no well actually you are a stormtrooper i am I'm sorry yeah, that, I'm, just, I'm with the other side of the rebel alliance here like, Oh, come on if somebody offered you like congratulations you're 40 it's quarantine and i feel like nobody's going to celebrate your birthday so your husband's like you know what i'm gonna buy my wife stormtrooper armor which i have wanted since i was like six yeah i, I took yeah. that i, I took I that like yeah. i took that i have to be general lay or now because there's no way i'm wearing that white dress or the bikini thing <laughs> not the bikini it's okay chris if you can't find it honey you can just send no, us a link i found it i was just <laughs> talking about stormtroopers <laughs> here so share screen share this screen Bloop. can everybody see it yes Ooh. so this is the front, um, and then it's just a, it's oh. double-sided. Uh, this is the whole circuit. So blue is the battery. This is where the LED goes. And then it lights up his little, his little angler. So on the car, do you actually then use tape to tape the battery onto the card? Like what keeps it so it actually I use, I use little pieces of tape, but remember you have to make space on the battery because if you cover the whole battery with tape, then you can't make that connection. Okay. Does that make okay, sense? That's good to know. Yep. But the tape on the battery won't bother if, as yep. long as you kept yep. some of it up. Okay. Yep. As long as it has a little. Cause space. we were just holding the battery down on our picture here. So I wasn't sure. Well, that's um, true. For the card, how you. Not attach have it the fall battery. Off. Right. If you want, here I'll I'll stop this since I I showed you. Stop share. Stop share. Switch camera. Da, 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 da. You're good. We see Look you. at me. I know, but I want to show this camera. Uh, uh uh. But you can actually get um binder clips, and you can put a binder clip right here. But how? She's right. How do you keep the battery on the paper? Uh, well, the binder clip would hold everything. There we go. Huh. But no, I, I used to put a couple pieces of tape if that helps. Like, just That's always put tape on. It. Just put tape on it. I've seen some kids do this. They'll make like the little bubble tape and they'll put oh. it underneath. 
and they'll be like, but it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, because the negative is it's covered. Not touching it doesn't the work anymore because there's a break. It's, in the it's there's a break. There's a break. Oops. That makes sense. You just have to be really careful how you tape it on. Yeah, I usually take like really tiny pieces. And just kind of scoosh it on. Okay. Oh yeah. That's really small. Well, Sometimes the uh, LED lags will like curl up on you and kids will freak out. Just like literally just go up and bend them a little bit. So they're actually pushing down on the copper type. So like that way you don't have that problem. How one little light to be so fascinating. And then you might have kids who try and put like more lights in just to see if they could. Uh, if you want to get really into it, you can uh, send them to talk about like parallel circuits, uh, consecutive circuits. Like there's there's a lot of places that you can you can send this. Just depends on where they want to go. But this is just a basic paper circuit. Start here and then let them go nuts if they want to. Chris, thank you so much. I'm going to have to go. But yeah, thank well, you. It's, it's time. Thank Does anybody you. else have any questions? Thank you thank so much. You. That was I'm awesome. You. Thanks Sorry, for hanging in there. The <laughs> yes, thank thing. you. It, was, it thank all you worked. So much. It all worked. <laughs> have, a, have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.